Hi everyone, you have to check this out. Currently in Excel, there's no real way to count colors in your cells. So we have to find a few workarounds and I've got three different ways, starting from very easy and going to all the way to advanced that will help you count the colors automatically. This is so cool. Let's get into the first one. The first one is the easiest, of course. As you can see, we've got a whole bunch of colors in this column, four different colors to be exact. Now we want to select all of these colors and the heading cell as well and if we go to home and then sort and filter and put a filter on the top that's going to let us filter these particular cells and if we select that filter drop down arrow we can now go filter by color and as you can see we've got all of the different colors here that we can choose from which is really really cool so if we select the that dark orange there now only the orange cells appear and if we select all of those orange cells right down the bottom left you can see it says seven out of 21 records found so we know that there are seven and we can just put seven next to our orange now it is a very easy way and it's a tiny bit manual so let's go to the next way which is way more automatic but also a little bit more complicated. As you can see we've got all of our colors all back again and we've got a helper column here so this is going to help us. We want to select the cell next to the top color and the reason for that is we're going to go to formulas and go to name manager. Now in our name manager we're going to select a new name and the name we might say counting colors, I think we'll say counting or just counting color. Now we need that because every time we use that name, it's going to do this particular formula for us. And the formula is this, it's actually using an old, old macro that you can access in this formulas tab. And that old, old macro is get.cell. Now there's a whole bunch of arguments you can choose from when you're looking at the details of a cell. And we want the argument of number 38, which is the cell color. The second part of the argument is the cell next to the cell that we're currently in. As you can see, we're in C3. We just want to select B3, the one over to the left. And there's a very specific reason for that. If we click OK on our counting color and then close that down, now in our cell next to the color, we can say equals counting color. And as you can see, it comes up for us automatically. We'll just tab across to select that and select enter. And now that gives us a number that corresponds to that particular color. We can select the bottom right hand side and drag this all the way down. And that'll, as you can see, each orange has the number 40 and each green has the number 36. So that's the one that corresponds. Now, how do we count all these together? Well, there's a few different ways. If we have this count here with the colors right next to it, if we say equals count if again, and we'll open up our bracket, we select our range of numbers that we created and that's our range, put a comma, and then the criteria we want to put is that new name that we created. So counting color, and we'll tab across to select that, close the bracket. Now remember how we said it had to be next to it, so the cell next to it. Now that counts all of the cells next to it for the colors that are corresponding to that cell. So if we drag that all the way down, we've got four purples, six blues, and four greens. So that way is a bit more automatic, but there is an even better way still, and it involves us getting right deeply into the Excel formulas. So let's jump into that and we're going to do it with a little bit of VBA or Visual Basic code in Excel. We've got our color column here and what we want to do is go to developer up in the top uh, of, our, of our sheet and Visual Basic. Now if you haven't got this you need to go to file options go down to customize ribbon and then on the right hand side here customizing the ribbon just make sure that developer is ticked and then select OK and then it should be there for us. So we want to go back to developer, Visual Basic, and then this opens up Visual Basic. What we want to do is select insert a new module and we'll do that. That gives us a nice blank canvas to start working with. And this is the code that you want to uh, input for this particular function. We're creating a new function called counting colors and it has a few inputs. It has the our range and then the color that we're wanting to select. So if we just close that down, we don't need to save it. It does it automatically. We'll close that down. And all we need to do is if we say equals, I think it was, was it counting colors? There we go. And that's a formula. So we're going to tab across. That opens it up for us. And the range, remember, was the range that we're wanting to search through. We'll select all of those, put a comma. 
and then we want the cell that we want to match. So I'm just going to go D3 manually. There's that one next door to us. I'll close the brackets down. And as you can see, now we've got seven of that orange color, which matches the one that we saw previously. We'll drag this down and it actually matches the ones next to it again. So this is so cool because we've actually created our own function in Excel. I think that's so cool and so exciting. And I hope you've had a whole bunch of fun because I know I have. So I hope to see you in the next video and bye for now.